saw down there at the bottom of the screen like some uh, hip hop lingo, like a, a, you know, like a dime. A dime means like it's ten. It means that she's a ten. She's a dime. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, after the beats, a lot of hip hop is about image. The culture has spawned a whole genre of fashion. But our next guests say there's a difference between urban and streetwear. One is from the streets, the other from Park Avenue. Please welcome Faisal Jayed and Ruchi Khan, owners of My Son Lifestyle Gallery. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so school us on uh, urban streetwear versus uh, yeah, the, the, the real the real deal. Okay, so urban wear probably spawned when you know hip hop first started. That was probably hip hop's first uniform. Mm -hmm. But as times have changed and with the internet, so basically streetwear is the new version of hip hop's new uniform. So it's basically a blend of high end fashion also hip hop's personality. Yeah, exactly. It was really interesting. I remember watching when, you know, they were wearing all this clothes in the beginning and people were like, "Well, what's going on there? What is that?" And then all of a sudden Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren mm -hmm. started doing it, right? Yeah, <laughs> so and exactly. then you saw it in the designers exactly. like, yeah. you know, Halston Gucci, Fiorucci, all of them there. All right. So, you were working at your dad's gas station, uh-huh, <laughs> selling white t-shirts. Yep. And your dad was sure that you were going to go off to become a lawyer, doctor, engineer, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right? that, was, that was the plan. Yeah, that was the plan. All right. So, what changed your mind? Well, I mean, I was I always been a fan of fashion and hip hop, but I wanted to make a career out of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I went to a convention in Vegas, and that kind of just changed my whole outlook. Vegas of, does that to you. Yeah. So, yeah. so it was a it was a convention yeah. called Magic Trade Show, and that kind of opened up my whole eyes about the streetwear fashion. Yeah, because I usually say what goes in Vegas stays in Vegas, but you brought it back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's good. Yeah. So what's so cool about being in this business and the kind of people you get to meet? I think you know day to day. Um, interaction that we do with customers, uh, dealing with the brands that we have in store, um, just, you know, dealing with fashion on a daily basis. Yeah. I think it's really, we're very lucky to be in the industry and we have a very good passion for it, so it just makes our job that much easier. Yeah, and people like to have their own look so you can individualize or customize yeah. for people, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the, the celebrities you've had. Slim Thug, DJ Envy, Little Flip, and Kiati, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kiati, yeah, yeah, Kiati, that's my bro. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, they've all come in and done that as well. Of course, when someone who's in the business and doing well wears your clothes, then everybody hears, don't they? Absolutely. All right, let's take a look at some of the clothes here. First, we have uh, Edwin here. He's wearing a uh, whole braille tee, which is a brand that we carry from New York. Uh -huh. And he's pairing that with a pair of whole black uh, trousers. Yeah, neat look here. Yeah, I like that. And like anybody could wear that, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's a cool. nice clean look. Clean, you know. Yeah, and you gotta have your sneakers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right. Looks like JLo could be here. Next, we have Corinne. She's wearing the Reasonable Doubt Coach's jacket with the nice uh, logo on the back. Uh huh. And that's paired with a Mason t shirt, which is all found at the store. Yes. Yeah. And what does Mason mean? Mason means house of, which is a French word. Okay. And we're building the house of fashion. Okay. <laughs> all right. She's got the leggings, the touch of leather there, yeah, and the cute nice, little cute booty. It's a nice, cute girl's outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, next we have Nam. He's wearing uh, Criminal Damage, which is a brand from London. Um, buckle jacket, and that's paired with a Mason t-shirt and oh, yeah. a Mason dad hat, which you can wear that with a lot of different things. Turn around again. Now, is that like a compartment in there? Yeah, that's a pocket oh, look at that. and buckle. So you can, put you can stuff store in there. a bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then your those pants are very cool. Yeah. Oh, is that suede? Okay, yes. don't mind me, but let me just... <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, yes, that is a suede. That's very it's cool. Nice night look or day look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. And finally, yeah, okay. Last but not least, we have Laudis. He's wearing a Supreme uh, Anorak jacket, which is part of our archives collection. And he's pairing that with a Mason t-shirt, some nice sneakers, and some denim. Yeah, and with the air-conditioned jeans right there, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, you know? yeah. But it's funny because, like, you know, we make it like that now, but it kind of started, we say streetwear, it started with guys who really had stuff that was worn out. Exactly. And it became very cool. All right, Damon John, a lot of you know him from uh, Shark Tank, mm -hmm. and he did FUBU for us by us. Yep. And I remember him on a show once saying, uh, the neighborhood he grew up in, he goes, you were either going to play sports, which he was too small for, he said, or you were going to sell drugs, which his mother would not allow him to do. Yeah, yeah. So they started making hats, and everybody was buying them, and the clothes, and everybody started buying them, how that industry kind of got started. He said they went up the street, and they talked to a woman and bought her sewing machine. And they couldn't tell any of the guys in the neighborhood that they were sewing their own stuff. <laughs> so he goes, oh, we couldn't tell them we had a sewing machine. But, uh, and then FUBU ends up making millions and millions of dollars. So again, legitimizing what this kind of genre is. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>
information on Myson Lifestyle Gallery and the hottest in hip hop streetwear, we have a link at greatdayhouston.com. Up next, he went from fixing watches at a flea market to blinging out jewelry for the biggest names in hip hop. When you see his pieces, you'll say, dang, Johnny, dang, when we come back. Woo!